This is the number 42 of Wiley's Advanced Engineering Mathematics on page 33. As you can see, y prime is equal to x plus 2y over 2x minus y. As defined by the problem of the book, we need to substitute x is equal to r cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta on this original equation. Since y prime is equal to dy over dx, so equals x plus 2y to x minus y. The problem is, what are we going to substitute with dy and dx? To solve for dx, we have here x is equal to r cosine theta. So we need to find the derivative of this equation. So we have dx is equal to, by the product rule of differentiation, we have r derivative of cosine theta, which is sine theta, which is supposedly negative, times d theta, plus the der derivative of r, which is 1, and cosine theta, dr. This is now equal to negative r sine theta, d theta, plus cosine theta, dr. To solve for the value of dy, we have also here dy is equal to, again, the derivative of this equation, r times the derivative of sine theta, which is cosine theta, d theta, plus the derivative of r, which is, again, 1 times sine theta, dr. So we have here r cosine theta, d theta, plus sine theta, dr. So we have now the value of dy, dx, and x is equal to r cosine theta and y r sine theta. All we need to do is substitute all these values on the original equation, since that is what the problem wants. So we have dy is equal to r cosine theta d theta plus sine theta dr. The value of dx, which is negative r sine theta d theta plus cosine theta dr. And we need to substitute this x and y to the original equation. So we have r cosine theta plus 2r sine theta all over 2r cosine theta minus r sine theta. By cross product, we have r cos theta d theta plus sine theta dr multiplied by this one. So we have 2r cos theta minus r sin theta is equal to these two. We are going to multiply these two. So we have negative r sin theta d theta plus cosine theta dr times r cosine theta plus 2r sine theta. By FOIL method, and multiply this all, we will get 2 r squared cosine squared theta d theta minus r sine squared theta dr is equal to negative 2 r squared sine squared theta dr plus r cosine squared theta dr. Simplifying this equation, we'll be able to get 2r d theta cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta dr. From the 
trigonometric identities, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is just equal to 1. So, this is 1, this is 1. So, we have 2R D theta is equal to DR. Now, as you can see, this became a separable differential equation. Solving this, or evaluating this rather, we have D theta is equal to DR over 2R. Integrating both sides, we have theta is equal to 1 half L and absolute value of R plus C. Now, this becomes your general solution.